The final dress rehearsal was dragging, the last kinks still being ironed out ahead of next week's consequential crosstown showdown, when Tuli Tupalata burst around the edge and closed the curtains on Colorado himself. Little about the past month, outside of the number 8 affixed next to its name, had suggested USC was ready for the bright lights and big stage that awaited next week at the Rose Bowl. In consecutive games, California and Arizona had pushed the Trojans to the brink. Now Colorado, a Pac-12 doormat and one of the worst teams in college football, was pushing them around, too. It wasn't until its star defender took center stage, forcing his way into a collapsing pocket and flinging a fumble loose in Friday's second quarter that USC found the nerve to push back. It kept pushing and pushing and pushing from there, until its backup supplied one final shove for good measure in a resounding 55-17 victory. After a frustrating first quarter, USC's off-the-line defense turned in one of its most impressive performances in months, albeit against a team that has scored fewer than 128 other teams this season. It held Colorado to 158 yards over the final three quarters, notched three sacks and forced two turnovers. This is how we should play every week, Tupelato said of the defense. But a night that might have otherwise provided necessary catharsis was instead marred by a major setback as star running back Travis Dye left the field on an injury cart, his final collegiate season over before its home stretch. All season, Dye had been one of the strongest leaders in USC's locker room, a critical voice in the ongoing cultural transformation under coach Lincoln Riley. Each week, Dai would deliver a new pre-game speech to inspire the team. But as USC's senior leader lay on the grass during the second quarter, cradling his left leg, the Coliseum lay silent. The Trojans sideline emptied as he was loaded onto an injury cart, players surrounding their fallen teammate in solidarity. That shook us all a little bit, Riley said of the injury. The coach didn't offer specifics about the diagnosis. But he did confirm the worst, Die won't be returning this season. It just sucks. There's no other way to put it, Riley said. He was one of the key cogs in this team. And now, with its most critical stretch ahead, USC will have to forge on without the engine of its offense and the soul of its locker room. Its first test? Matching the top rushing offense in the Pac-12. Now we get a chance to reset, Riley said, and play those guys across town. It won't be easy from here, even if USC made it look as such on Friday. Dice injury still loomed over the rest of Friday, even as USC continued to roll along without its running back. Whether it will be able to move the ball as well next week without him would be another question.